Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Ben Ward, God of War, Sandinay. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the knockout, Morgana. One of the best in the business, Herb Wait, Dean, is our referee tonight. Ready. All right, here we go with the start of round one. Should be interesting for as long as it lasts on one side. We have the decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. And on the other side, a fighter that really can do it all on fight night. How do you see the matchup playing out? You know, in theory, it should benefit the guy that's going wrong because he should be able to stay standing and avoid those Jiu-Jitsu exchanges. So he's got to stay in range. He's got to pick him apart and make this grappling guy stand to see if he possesses the skills to even find a way to get a take. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. I mean, these guys are led to fly. What a pace in their fight now. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. He a lot needs of fighter to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That's in pretty deep. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he's out. Oh, he got it. He did a great job. He attacked a lot. He got pressure forward and off to the side, rolled to his back to release that pressure. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Right, he's got the hooks in DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Making all these shots count. I'll stop this. You better fight that. Beautiful transition. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Moicano. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch lands. Moicano's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. He's got that arm drag. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense. Keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fight. Oh, next. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. 
straight punch land. Oh, that's a good lead left. Turning his hip over into the leg kick. The right hand just misses. Back and forth we go. Strong inside leg kick. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Just misses with that one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Moicano. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, the body was starting to take its... Oh! So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't... Oh, you can Oh! Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace an uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Ooh. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh! Right back! Moicano's nose is bleeding now. It looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You gotta keep position over submission. 20 seconds left to go in round two. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Makata's oh. eyes closing up now, not good for him. Stop. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Strike attempt there is blocked. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this knee. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man. Look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find. Oh, looking for the submission now. That submission looks tight. It looks like he's getting close to his arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm, get his head down the mat, and... Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, 
Wow, that is great submission defense. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, side control now. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape from him. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so what a round it was for him. Multiple knockdowns. When we sat down with him on Thursday, he said, when I touch guys in this division, they go down, and he proved prophetic. That's exactly what happened in the previous round. The guy has lightning in his hand. Every time he is landing, he is putting his opponent on his butt over and over, knocking him down. He has not found the finish, but he needs to stay patient, find the perfect shot, hit him with that kill shot. You get that kill shot off, and there will be no more getting up. You ready? You ready? Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big shot to the head. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see it cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude. Oh! Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. He's very close to the finish here. Great job being busy off of his back. Playing a beautiful strike from the bottom. Three minutes to go. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round and pop. Good work from the top here by Moicano. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Trying to recover full guard there. Lands the grounded pound strike here. There it is, another strike gets through on the ground. He passes to half guard. Moicano's back in half guard. Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you got to think this is going to start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it... Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, it looks like you got to be kidding me. He's out. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. 
Oh, ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Moicano. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pity back. He's not touching. Every punch that land, he wants you to feel it. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Left eye starting to swell significantly now. Well, we've got to think some bonus money is coming the way of these two athletes at night's end, and remarkably, they've both been able to stay in the fight despite absorbing a shit ton of damage. I mean, the amount of damage that these two have taken in this fight is crazy. They've been able to stand on a coin and go toe for toe in the middle of the octagon. And as usual, they gave our replay guys in the truck a lot to work with. Yeah, a lot to work with because neither one of them have tried to use defense. They're proving how tough they are but they really aren't using the skills that will allow for them to be fighting for a long time. You gotta right, keep great. moving your that head. Awesome job, you Pete. cannot take these really type well. of heavy strikes so this frequently. And it looked like maybe one of those coaches exactly thought about getting involved. They're gonna be watching the action closely as these two absolute warriors and damaged athletes try to get the upper hand in this next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fifth and final round, fourth cup. able to work his way back to his feet. What a great fight. Damage going out on both sides. That's it. Holy smokes. What an absolute freak of a knockout here tonight. That's a three-check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in school. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, eight seconds of round number five. To play the winner by knockout, Benoit God of War, Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time.